Lorna Taylor and her daughter Christine often come to Inverleith Park to walk their dogs. Stanley and Scout are two Labradors who, like many other dogs, love the walks. Their owners think that it is a wonderful feeling as well as a necessity. We're out most of the day and they need to get exercise or else the, the She'll young tear one, up the house. The young one not. chews things. Like Mrs. Taylor, many enjoy the walk at the park with their dogs. And why not? They are great walking companions. In addition to the basic needs of food and shelter, a dog needs social interaction, positive attention from its owner, exercise and mental stimulation. Many of these needs can be met simply by taking the dog for a walk. And 54 acres of Inverleith Park provides such space and environment. I mean, big space to throw the ball and for them to get a good run. And when you're out in, out in the morning early like this, it's really nice because there's not very many people around. Just a few runners and people walking their dogs. But walking the dogs is not always nice and fun. Things sometimes get out of hand. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Yeah, I mean, if she became aggressive, I would have to put her on the lead. Um, but we've never, I've never had any problem in the park with that. I've, never, I've been here for 10 years. I've never had any situations with dogs attacking people or other dogs fighting with each other. Mainly just playful. It's the same people here every day of the week with dogs and the same ones. So most dog walkers know each other. Another matter that's a cause of concern is the litter. There are some people who are a bit naughty about not picking up after their dogs, which is uh, not very nice. People have to be always careful and pick up dog mice. That's, um, you know, when people have small children, it's not very nice if they fall in some dog mice. What we can do, we give them two warnings to pick up the fowl. It's the same people here every day of the week, and if they refuse, we then phone environmental services, and they can actually come down and find people on the spot if they refuse to pick it up, that they're charging is £50. Me and my arrow. Good training and opportunity to socialise helps dogs to interact appropriately with other people and dogs. They are obedient, honest and trustworthy. Most dogs probably imbibe these qualities from their owners, who don't hesitate to help when a dog is in trouble. Hello. Hello, good morning. I'm just in Inverleith Park and I have your dog. Okay, right here. Right, bye. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, she was just right. on the corner and we were frightened she was going to go on, onto the road. Thanks for that. That's all right. <laughs> Dogs are not just walking companions. They are your playmates. They are always there to cheer you up when you are feeling down and remain loyal for life. No wonder they are called man's best friend. All the more reason to get yourself a dog. I'm gonna buy me a dog. You can teach dog to that. You can only train elephants. Cause I need a friend now. I need a friend now. Now. Yeah. I'm gonna buy me a dog. A dog to hear over Fido's spot. My girl, I'm gonna love no how. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hike!